Okay, you guys, so I'm in Armenia and I got all these snacks um, that are pretty much not available in the US. And especially this Coca-Cola with coffee that I've been dying to try. And I don't think it's even released in the US yet. So I can't wait to actually mukbang and vlog these for you guys. So I'm in Armenia with my friend Suzan. You guys actually have met her before in our 23andMe vlog. Do you remember that, Suzan? I definitely remember that. Some of you guys are still finding that vlog, by the way, and asking questions and all that stuff, which I love. Um, just as a quick update, Susan is still super into 23andMe and I kind of am not, but I gave them feedback recently because as you guys remember from, the, from that video, I still feel like they don't have a lot of cultural or historical mm -hmm. context in a lot of their results and their data sets for non-Western Europeans are not really that good. I know you get a lot of updates from your distant relatives. Have you connected with any of them? I have, and a bunch of them live like near me. Wow. So that's pretty cool. So I think I actually know a mutual relative of hers, but did you connect with her through 23andMe or was it some other through way? Through 23andMe. And then after we connected, I saw that you shared something like her art on your Instagram account. Yes. And I was like, wait a minute, that's my new cousin. That so. is crazy. Anyway, we are here actually on a journey with our nonprofit, which is um, Bridging the Borders. If you guys don't follow it already, you should go on all social platforms. We've been so busy with all of that humanitarian effort here in Armenia with the war uh, that just recently ended and all of the tragic events that have taken place in the past few months. Mm -hmm. But we went to an Armenian supermarket here in Dilijan, which is a small resort town north of of the capital Yerevan and we wanted to do a little mukbang for you guys and try the little snacks that we got. Dilijan beer in Dilijan and it's pretty good it's a light lager um and I like it. Cheers. Is it similar to what you've had in the past with lagers? I don't know beer that well. It's like so. a Hefeweizen like if you were to have or like a Heineken. Oh okay basically. I do like Heineken's they're light. Yeah it's, this is light so it's okay. a good one. So I actually got a bunch of mini drinks and you guys, I'm so excited because, so this is, how do you say this? Schweppes. Schweppes. Okay. So don't they mix this with like alcohol? Yeah, or? you can put in your drink. Okay. So it's kind of like a bubbly water. Tonic water. Okay. So the, I saw the pomegranate and as you guys know, pomegranate, Armenia, it's like a thing. So, and then they have some, they, they have the Armenian like name on the bottom and Russian as well. And I think, I don't know what language that one is. Um, the first Ooh, one. Ryan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. So let me open this one up actually. And. Oh my God. It's so good. So it's sweet. I didn't realize they're usually sweet. Are they supposed they're to like be? They're like sweet, bitter. It's not bitter. Okay. It's actually really good. I don't know if we have this in the US. Next thing I wanted to try with you guys is these. Like I've actually been waiting for these to come out since I found out about them like online. And I don't think they're actually released yet in the US. Um, basically it's Coca-Cola, but it's mixed with coffee. And I'm literally gonna die over this. Like, so they have the coffee, whatever. And then they have the caramel coffee, Coca-Cola. So is it coffee flavored? Coke? So I think there's actually coffee in here. I thought it was a coffee branded as Coke. No, it's actually oh Coca-Cola brand. And I don't know, like maybe it sounds weird, but let's go ahead and find out how it actually tastes. So if you want, you can try caramel and then I'll try the coffee, just the regular. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, it's actually kind of perfection. Mm, that's weird, but... Uh, okay, so that's, this that's... one is amazing. It's literally just a hint of coffee at the end, like the aftertaste. I don't know about yours. Yeah, so it tastes like, um, like a Coca-Cola, but sweet, like a warmer sweet, like a nutty sweet, like coffee, but you can taste the caramel. This is caramel. Oh my god, I love this one. It tastes like a flavored Coke. 
Yeah, like I feel like I can, if I didn't know there was coffee in it, I wouldn't This be reminds able... me of a lip gloss that I had. No way. Like in middle school. Uh, coffee flavored lip gloss. That's hilarious. Like exactly the same. So it, because I think co Coca-Cola already has caramel in it though, right? Mm. So we bought a bunch of chips and you guys, we bought so much chocolate, local kinds, international kinds. And then we bought some like phone adapter thingies and we got some juices all for under $10. So we were kind of blown away. I mean, we kind of were expecting it to be a little cheaper. Things here in Armenia are a lot cheaper, but $10 for everything we got was a little insane. I want to try this one next. It's barbecue flavored. Well, like barbecue, but this kind of barbecue, like kebab and stuff. And what's that one? Okay, I think this says bacon in Russian. Okay, so we don't have bacon flavored glaze, right? Mm -mm. These are really good. It has that smoky bacon feel. Mm -hmm. Taste. It's good. I like both. Mmm. This is good too. This has like you can taste the meat. The meat and also like the grilled the grilled peppers. Really? So this one's just cheese mm. flavor and I'm pretty sure we do have that, right? Or no? Yeah, I think it's just like cheddar or Swiss cheese. And I think you have this one too. <laughs> Sour cream and onion. <laughs> oh my god, classic. What has been your favorite experience thus far in Armenia? Mm. Let's see. Uh -huh. Actually, we just came back from Araik's mentee's house. Um, he did a mentorship program where he menteed a kid from um, the Lodi region. And uh, so we went to his house, hung out with his family, and they live on a farm with like goats and um, uh, pigs and stuff. And then on the back of their house, like when you leave their house, um, there's a gorge. And um, on the other side of the gorge, there's like a fifth century um, ancient ruins of a monastery and thermal baths. Fortress. Fortress, my bad. And you could see it from like their property. And then um, they took us out for a walk and like, did an exploration and saw like an ancient um, Armenian cross that they found like accidentally like digging up and now they like like candles there and then like I don't know that was that was so far my favorite. So they also had a cemetery there from like the fifth century AD and that's literally almost in their backyard and it's just crazy because um, a lot of the things here in Armenia they're just very unknown and undiscovered. We were talking about how we wish things were marketed better and that's something that we would love to work on um, because I think if things are marketed better, like it would be such a tourist hub because these mm. things are literally like one of a kind in the world. So we also got a bunch of locally produced chocolates. Um, there's a big uh, candy factory in Armenia called Grand Candy. So a bunch of these chocolates are from them. So um, let's go ahead and try them. I'm going to open this chocolate one and see what it's all about. This one looks like a hamburger. Oh my god, this one. So this is basically in Armenian, they call it Sidikikat, bird's milk. Ooh. So it's marshmallow on the inside and it's chocolate on the outside. Okay, and this one looks like a hamburger, but it's like a wafer and a chocolate. Mmm. It's good. It's like a butter cookie. Try that. I actually love bird's milk. I love it. Let's see. What? I love bird's milk. Wow. Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm -hmm. They actually have the cake version of bird's milk. That's my pad. I love that one too. But I grew up eating those. But it was it was like kind of like a rectangle or like a whatever. And they're in a box of like a bunch of them. Okay, so next is Kit Kat, which is my ultimate favorite. We bought three deluxe kinds that I don't think we have in the US. Um, so we have the Senses Black and White Edition. We have the Gold Edition Deluxe Caramel. And then we have Kit Kat Deluxe Coconut. 
And it's funny because like Kit Kat has different flavors all over the world, I think, because <laughs> I've always wanted to try their uh, green tea version. That like, one's pretty good. You've had it? I've had that, yeah. Where'd you have it? They have it at like Vaughn's. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> literally like half the shit that I'm eating is probably available in yeah. fucking LA. Okay, so let's try this one first. Okay, so this one is black and white edition with black wafer. Okay, let's break off two pieces and try it at the same time. Also, these are like longer than the ones that we have and also thicker. No, but I think that's because they're like the special oh, okay. edition. Wait, I don't get it. Okay, oh, so and they're also cut the opposite way. Like, oh they're not like so this is the black and white so i have a special way of eating kit kats and i of just eating them and i didn't do it what is it i like but i off all the sides first oh my god wait i've heard of someone else doing I that think, i think courtney does that or one of the kardashians do it oh really but, but it's something that i've always done and it's something my mom would get pissed at me about. imagine it's like an armenian thing it's about but like, savoring but the sides are not the same consistency as the middle right so, so it might start popping off the layers. layers oh my god no i can't do that i would hate that because i feel like the whole point of it is like the layers trust me, <laughs> trust me. we do the same thing with um twigs Okay, so I'm not the, I love, okay, so I love Kit Kat because I'm big on consistencies. I don't like chewy things, so I hate Snickers. And I feel like Twix is literally in between Kit Kat and Snickers. So I like it, but I don't love it. I love but it. But I do love the Kit Kats. But these are kind of big, like you said, and I don't love this size. I do like the regular. Yeah, tender, nice and yeah. tender. This doesn't taste like a Kit Kat to me. Like yeah, it doesn't really taste like it's a just a wafer cookie, but it's good. Yeah. Okay, so let me try this one, the coconut. Also, this is an Armenian cross necklace, and all the proceeds went to the people affected by the war. And this is an Armenian flag beanie. But yeah. I have an Armenian necklace on. What, it's the letter S. Where is it from? Actually, it's from Argentina. <laughs> really? But it's a uh, and it's an um, illuminated manuscript style. Oh yeah, I'm that's actually cool. Things. But I also wanted to mention you guys that Susan has a whole blog. I didn't even really know about it until recently. But why don't you share a little bit about your blog since it is a travel blog? It is a travel blog, and it's called Adrift Anywhere. You can visit it at adriftanywhere.com or find it on Instagram. On the and we'll link it down below. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, it's a travel blog. Um, I used to backpack a lot. So it's just a lot of like pictures of me backpacking, places I've seen. A lot of it's like Eastern Europe, Asia, South America. Um, I've never actually gone really to like Western Europe. Okay. Which I think like most people have. So it's like I'm kind of the same way. Well, I haven't really traveled much outside of like the US and Armenia, but Western Europe seems like one of the places that like I still definitely want to go and it seems like amazing. But it's just like I want to see so many other places more just because I've seen Western Europe in so many pictures, so yeah. many movies, so many other people's experiences that I almost feel like, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it's like, what is there nothing else? But there's like like coming to armenia for example we literally just walked on a fifth century cemetery today yeah and like like there was like a huge dynasty and stuff so like think of like the places that are like off the beaten path as they say yeah so it's it's kind of like the stuff that i like to like write about also mountains a lot of hiking stuff so if you like hiking, that's awesome a lot of rivers lakes well guys thank you guys for joining us today um live well not live but just like from armenia and yeah if you guys can make it out here one day i definitely recommend it of course after things calm down in the world and here if you guys uh want to get more of susan and her travels definitely go follow her on her instagram adrift anywhere and um catch you guys in the next video bye bye